Welcome to the review of the Nightcore HC35. As you can see, this light has been used. This is not scratches or things in the anodization, but this is white paint because I used this light after the review for quite some hours painting the walls of my house with white paint. So, let's start. HC35, this is a 4 XPG3 cool white emitter headlamp with a 21700 battery inside of the body. The HC35 comes with a 4000 mAh universal non proprietary 21700 battery. I'm going to show you now. You could spot probably the, the magnetic feature that the tail cap has. There is a magnet inside. This you can use it to attach the light to metallic surfaces. There is, you'll see now when I close the tail cap, which has anodized threads so you can physically look out the light. There is a battery indicating system here at the electronic switch at the head. When you insert a new battery, it flashes and you, it tells you the voltage of the battery. The electronic switch is a single stage one, allows full control of the light. The light measures 5.05 inches in length and at the head is 1.14 inches by 1.25 and weights 4.89 ounces without the battery and with the strap or 128 millimeters by 28 by 31.7 and 138 grams without the battery with the head strap. The battery inside the light or any 21700 or any one 18650 battery can be charged via the universal micro USB port here at the head. This is its rubber cover. The light features an ATR, a system that changes the output of the light depending on the temperature of these internal components like the LEDs and the circuitry. You have quick access with the interface to the lowest and highest mode. For the lowest mode you just do one click and you get this ultra low mode. And if you keep pressing you scroll throughout the modes which are ultra low, low, medium, high, turbo, ultra low, low, medium, high, turbo in loop. And as I said the other shortcut is for turbo mode from off. You keep press for more than one second and you get the turbo mode. I use this light to paint my walls and why did I use the HC35 among all the lights that I have? Well, because I needed a very fluid light with virtually no imperfection in the beam and this HC35 has no imperfection in the beam and it has a very wide and fluid beam. And I also used it because I needed a small and compact light that still featured a very long runtime. I have in my possession several headlamps with battery pack that features multiple 118650 battery and as far as it goes this 4000 milliamp hour battery it's the perfect compromise between the uh, light that is a bit more heavy but I can still carry it on my head without any cable running through my headband and carrying the battery pack. Speaking of headband this is the new standard from Nightcore it has a bit of a mesh so it's more breathable on the inside of the headband you have this silicone line that allows you to not make the headband slip on your forehead and also allows you to not have that much sweat running on your face it has a free point of attachment so it runs over your head and also around your head for better control and the light is connected through the light carrier via this sturdy metallic clip so you can also if you want carry this light as an EDC uh, maybe you need it to like illuminate close distances you need to attach it to metallic surfaces to, to be like a courtesy light but this light is a headlamp is born as a headlamp and as you can see this is the system that allows you to attach the HC35 to the headband and this metallic clip is sturdy enough that not only keeps the light firmly in place but also allows you to rotate it as you want without having the light 
or rotating on you by surprise. If you want, you can also move the clip from the head to the bottom as you want. The only part you can take apart of the light is the tail cap. And I believe this is everything for this part. I was very pleased with the balance between the output and the runtime at high mode, especially, which is the mode that I use the longest while I was painting. Now I'm gonna pop in some video beam shots. As you can see just from the picture, the spill is very wide, arrives at my feet. There is virtually no spot. The tint is virtually white and the throw depends on the level, but this light is suited for close to close to medium distances. Here you can see low mode, few meters away from me. As I pop up to medium mode, I get maybe 10 to 15 meters of visibility. The ground, however, is well enlightened. As I increase the brightness into high mode, I get 20 to 30 meters of very brightly enlightened ground around me and when I pop up to turbo mode 3000 more lumens the ground is like midday everywhere around me from my feet to up to 50 maybe 60 meters very very good widely distributed cool white light everywhere from the HT55 now for some output and runtime as usual I start with the output which is in my measurement pretty consistent with the specifications of the HC35 and now begin with the runtime there is a huge peak at the turbo mode both cooled and uncooled that quickly decreases and we have here some magnification what you can see is that yes the cooling actually makes a difference but the light is so powerful that it becomes so hot that not even my small fan is able to cool it off enough to have a real effect and this is because the light is so small and becomes so hot that you would need like a huge fan at maximum power to actually be able to prolong the runtime at the real turbo mode before the step down. So in real life expect a few 30-40 seconds of turbo mode if you actually want to keep it cranking it up continuously. If you after the step down you wait a bit maybe turn off the light a bit or you just keep it on for a bit more a high mode you will be able to actually regain your access to turbo mode because the light will cool down even at high mode there is a difference between the cooled and uncooled runtime but in my opinion this is a difference small enough that only my sensor will be able to catch it and nothing will be seen at the next dive just keep let you know that if you run the light in a cool light, in a sorry, in a cool environment, you'll be able to get almost 100 lumens more until the battery. Regarding the size of the light, I almost forgot to tell you. Some people say that this light is big for a 21700 battery, and let me tell you, after you have this light on your head and you use it, you are glad that this light is a bit bigger than the others because look how big and thick and deep this cooling fin cell and still this light gets incredibly hot when you run it turbo mode of course you got more than 3000 lumens in a thing that's not that bigger than your thumb and these are medium to small thumb if this light would have been any smaller it would just been a much 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 warmer so if you're in the market for Flashlight. a fluid headlamp you need a simple interface you need a cool white tint and you need a lot of runtime with a, the, an ease of charging the light without any particular kind of proprietary system because this is a universal micro USB cable port which is also included the HC35 will suit your need thank you for watching